Uh, um, am I on? You're on. Go ahead. Uh, uh, my name is uh, uh, Sky Schultz, and I'm a, a clinical psychologist. And uh, uh, I have, I think, uh, I have an eye problem. You see, I, I don't know who I am anymore. I, I have this other personality who comes out, and he teaches science, and he's all about teaching lifelong learning. And he, he's in, uh, he, uh, well, he does shows all over the country. Maybe I better let him explain it to you. I'm Professor W. W. Oops, the world's greatest authority on mistakes. I personally have made more mistakes than any other living organism. I would have made the Guinness Book of Records for making mistakes, except I didn't keep proper records. But I'm here to talk about making mistakes and being creative. You can't be creative unless you make lots of mistakes. My son, who makes his living as a juggler, told me, Dad, hurry up and make your first 10,000 mistakes so you have a chance to correct them. A mistake is simply an opportunity from which you can learn. A failure is just a success you don't like very much. I'm here to talk today about thinking, thinking and ideas. You see, Everything you see around you in this, uh, in this room started off with an idea in somebody's head, even the person next to you. So Emerson said, the great person understands the power of an idea. I'm going to talk to you about some of my heroes, too. I brought some pictures of one of my, oh, one of my heroes, <laughs> Al. I met him in a book. Yeah, he had came up with some great one-liners like E equals MC squared and his theory of relativity, uh, which was something about uh, time and space. Oh, yeah, any time you spend in a small space with relatives, the time really drags. <laughs> well, Al came up with some other great ideas. Um, uh, like uh, imagination is more important than knowledge. Uh, Dr. Einstein said he got stuck for 10 years thinking about time and space because he said he was thinking about time like everybody else was thinking about it. And he pointed out that space is not nothing. Space has a curvature. Um, but I don't have time to talk about nothing now. I'll tell you what, let me give you an example of an idea. Now this, Dr. Einstein, this is just an ordinary bicycle wheel. The secrets of the universe are locked up in the simplest things all around us. And a good scientist, first of all, has to pay attention to what's going on. So uh, watch this bicycle wheel. If I get it, see these little things falling? If I get it spinning fast enough, those things, that, those little lead weights stop falling and they're attached to the wheel. If I get this bicycle wheel spinning fast enough, it becomes a gyroscope or a top. Now watch what it's doing. It's processing. It's, and the Earth does the same thing. The Earth changes, which is the North Star, every 26,000 years. So by paying attention to our bicycle wheel, we, oh, we could, we could do this. We could put a little electric motor on it and then put it in a box and use it in a jet plane or a boat to guide it straight across the ocean. These are just a few ideas. Now, Dr. Einstein said that gravity, centrifugal force, and inertia are just different names for the same thing. He began to think differently than anybody else. And we're gonna need kids and adults by the thousands now who think about this planet differently than anybody's ever thought about it before, how everything is interconnected. Let me make my first point. Now, a point in mathematics means something which has location but no dimensions. Location but no dimensions, which means that it's nothing that's somewhere. Now, the whole idea of nothing may be one of those ideas which has outlived its uselessness. Uh, let me do, let me illustrate that with a magic trick. Um, there are many ideas that have, uh, sir, would you come up here, please? Uh, I'm not going to do any of those cheap magic tricks. You remember when your uncle used to come over to your house, sir, and he would, he'd, see, he'd say, hey, kid, watch this. I'm going to make this disappear. And he goes like this, and he blows on it, and then he pulls it out of your ear. 
Oh, you should get those cleaned once in a while. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Uh, give him a big hand. Well, anyway. Um, now, I love magic because it shows us how easily we're fooled. Um, for example, if I take this coin and put it into my hand and close my hand, you all saw me put it in there, but now it's gone away. Now, away is a silly idea. It's an idea that's outlived its uselessness. Um, for example, we think we can throw something away. Now, away is a very dirty word. It causes so much pollution because we're not thinking cor correctly. Just a second. I might, anytime I think of this, it makes me want to... Uh, uh, oh. I don't have to now. Oh, sir, would you come back up here, please? Um, yes, uh, right back up here. I, I want to, 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 to do, use, help me do this magic trick. Now, uh, I'd like you to watch. There's nothing here, there's nothing here, and there's definitely nothing here. Now, sir, would you raise your left hand really high? Watch, watch, bring it down here. Watch, watch, that's watch. Thank you, sir, thank you. Uh, these are little jokes. <laughs> okay, now if you're having trouble laughing, just let this portion of your mouth droop. You don't have to raise this portion. I am going to make this piece of tree flesh go away. I don't call it paper anymore. I call it tree flesh because this is sacred stuff. What does a tree do for us? It gives us what? Oxygen, right, oxygen. And, and it, uh, it takes in the carbon dioxide. It makes 90% of its body out of the thin air. So this is, we say a grace before meal sometime. Why don't we take, say grace before we take a piece of tree, tree flesh? Now I'm gonna take this piece of tree flesh and I'm gonna put it in my hand like this. You're all seeing me do this. Now you kids in the front row, you watch that this doesn't go up my sleeve. You guys in the cheap seats up there. Okay, I'm gonna stuff this in my hand and we're gonna make it go away. But why is that a ridiculous idea? Because we can't make anything go away. Uh, away is, a, is an idea which has outlived its uselessness. Now watch, I'm gonna make it go away by magic, which is ridiculous because you can't make anything go away. You can't make nuclear waste or toxic chemicals go away. Oh, excuse me. I'm not feeling so good. I, sh I, uh, I should have uh, not eaten. S oh my gosh, I hate this when it happens in front of an audience. I might have to. You could clap now, it won't get any better. <laughs>